Welcome back to Better Living. I'm here with Dr. Bob from Sylvania Vet. He brought me a little friend. He's stuffed, though, so he doesn't bark at me. That's nice. Of yes, him. There's, yeah, uh, yeah. It, the hard part is you don't get that uh, happy interaction. Yeah, no, that, that, there's none of that, that huh? That brings to you. But this is, a, we call this guy uh, whatever you want. We call him Stormy or we call him Thunder. But what he's doing is demonstrating one of the uh, many tools that we have available to us uh, for anxiety, whether they be storm anxiety, fireworks anxiety, separation anxiety at home in a dog that when we leave so that um, what we have is the, um, we, could, we can fit the dog with a thunder shirt, but then there's a lot of other things that are available to us as well. Um, the, uh, the Adaptil is, it comes as both a collar and as a, uh, a room aerosolizer, and it is a synthetic pheromone that comes from uh, mother's milk which is a calming anti-anxiety. So it's just something that's in the air then. It's just yeah, it's, an aroma. Right. It's, Would I smell can, it? No, you cannot okay. smell it. And, uh, and it's, it has no effect on us. But when mother's nursing a litter, she needs to keep them in a group and not let them kind of crawl and wander away. Okay. And so this has a calming effect on the litter during the nursing period. And so this was synthesized. They've done the same thing with cats uh, with a product called Feel Away. And feel away is a um, is a pheromone from the facial glands of a uh, uh, of male cats that they use for marking, and it's been determined that it all is also calming and anti-anxiety. And it comes in the form of a collar and as a, as a spray. We frequently, if we have fearful cats in the office, um, not only do we have feel away in the um, do we have feel away in the um, in the exam rooms going all the time in the uh, plug-in but then we will spray our hands and our smocks and we'll uh, we've got some wipes that you can put on the carrier that helps the cat make uh, make a fear feet transition to and from the office so that works great and then we get into uh, anti-anxiety medications just like um, we use for people isn't it right there are there are medications this product is called Zilkeen Zilkeen is a uh, homeopathic uh, product that's come from Europe that has a very significant amount of uh, anti-anxiety. There's another, there's another product that is a, uh, a, a derivative of L-theanine, which is in green tea, that also has a uh, calming effect. And the interesting thing about the uh, L-theanine, uh, and that product is called Anxetane. I was, I was blank there for a second. <laughs> um, but Anxetane, uh, they have uh, taken the L-theanine, and there's a, uh, there's a theanine A and a theanine B, and the L-theanine B kind of neutralizes the A, so they've isolated the A and put it into a tablet form. And then when we get past the homeopathic products, and lavender has a, also has a little bit of uh, uh, calming effect, and then even a product called Rescue Remedy that you can get at the pesters. All those things can be used mostly in combination. Then we can get into pharmaceuticals, and there's a variety of those, uh, diazepam, which is Valium. Uh, Good Xanax. You know, Xanax <laughs> works for us, and there are others. So we have quite a bit in our uh, armamentarium of treatment for anxiety, and anxiety is a very unhealthy situation. How do we know when we're at the point where we need to involve either some sort of medicine or a thunder shirt or the the aroma things i mean i may just think my dog is anxious i may think that the thunder freaks him out a little bit or maybe i think it's my child that freaks him out a little bit or what how do i know when it's when I need to involve something else? Well, I think that those are conversations that we have uh, with clients at our annual wellness visits, and if and we, we hope that clients bring that up, because even if you think your dog is, or your cat, and cats generally don't have anywhere near the anxiety that dogs do, but if you think your dog is anxious, that's not a healthy situation okay. for them, and so that should be discussed and should be treated. Uh, storms, I mean, I've had dogs that I've cared for that have gone out of second floor windows because of storm mm -hmm anxiety and the interesting thing about storm anxiety is there's about five triggers for their anxiety so obviously the lightning and the thunder um, are keys but the noise of uh, the rain pounding on the window the changes in the barometric mm -hmm. pressure and the electrical charges in the air all of which in combination or singly can trigger um, the, uh, the the storm anxiety and the dog may know before y even you do know or uh, blizzard bill knows <laughs> well i know that my dog will bark if somebody honks a horn 
mm -hmm. you know, in outside our house, uh, hits their alarm, you know, to lock their door. So how, I, do I think that's just anxiety? Do I think he's just, uh, you know, uh, kind of psycho? I, I think that probably is, maybe psycho is too okay. strong a word. Well, but I haven't met my dog. Yeah, but I don't think that it's, uh, that that's, if that's the only issue that you have that's reflective of that. The, the real key, the one that everybody worries the most about is separation anxiety, mm -hmm. where when you leave the, the, the house, the dog starts to carry on and do damage, and you know it's coming because they're already getting wound up as you get ready to leave for the station let's say they're they're tr pacing and barking and doing things and then they will if you put them in a kennel they may struggle to get out they break broken teeth okay. they void it's you know it can be a real mess and so s solving separation anxiety is a much more difficult problem and something that requires a real commitment on the part of the owner and the veterinarian to work together both pharmaceutically and uh, training wise well, definitely my dog doesn't have that. He thinks we're leaving. He just runs to the pantry because he knows he's going to get a treat. And he thinks, yay, these people are leaving and I get a treat. That may say something about how our dog feels about us. Any of these products we can get at Sylvania yeah, Vet. We, we carry all these. Uh, they're, they're readily available. And uh, uh, the next time we're on, we're going we're gonna to use Thunder and demonstrate uh, some obedience uh, and stuff. He's going to be very well behaved, well, I promise you. That won't be anything like Irish. If you're interested in any of these products, or you just need to talk to a veterinarian, all you have to do is call Sylvania Vet today. Check them out online. We'll be right back on Better Living.